Hello, this is Dancing Moon Way. I'm just walking in through the front door and I'm gonna apologize in advance. It's vacant and they have turned off the electricity, but it's a really nice house, has a nice presentation. This is a nice neighborhood here in Fountain where they're still building um, quite a few new builds as well. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through. I wish you could see, no, none of the lights are working. Uh, powder bath, so I brought you in from the entrance. There's a little powder room, has a nice, nice kitchen. I'll give you a quick overview. I don't want to make this tape too long just because of the video, excuse me, um, because I want to be able to send it to you guys right away. It's granite countertops, nice cabinets, stainless steel appliances, and the kitchen leads from here into the dining room and family room, both of which are attached. I'm gonna swing you around real quick. There's a big pantry as well in the kitchen, which is awesome. Um, okay, so dining room here. And then you have a, bal uh, a kind of a deck with a backyard. The yard needs some love and care, and partly that's because this house has been abandoned, but, or I should say vacated. But look at your view, isn't that spectacular? <laughs> That's the view off your deck, it's really amazing. And the video doesn't even do it justice. So the living room, pretty nice. And it looks much bigger than what it looks like here. I'm gonna turn around real quick and show you guys. So you kind of get a different angle here. Uh, the rug needs a little love. Probably would be just fine with a really good professional cleaning before you moved in because the house is not that old. Um, this to me looks like your master bedroom. Um, okay, nothing fancy in here, but nice big tub. So you have a garden tub, freestanding shower, and a double sink. and big walk-in closet, nice. Okay, I'm just gonna move fast so you guys can see the whole video at one time. Okay, you have neutral walls but green curtains, so <laughs> that's an extra special feature for you. That's your laundry room, which is a fairly nice size. This is a second bedroom, third if you count the master. So two different bedrooms, one with green curtains, one with blue curtains. I'm just trying to orient you guys. Here's another bathroom. This is your main bathroom. And then a third bedroom with the pink curtains. So pink curtains, green curtains, blue curtains, plus your master bedroom. So this bedroom is fairly small, but they all have decent sized closets. And your master is a walk-in uh, walk closet. And then you know your basement is actually just a big vacant space. So I will get a quick shot of that. And here are you guys with me as I go here. It's actually a nice kitchen. You have a nice backsplash, nice countertops, nice cabinets, good appliances. So overall, pretty decent. And then your basement. Oops, I'm wrong. I'm mixing up my properties. Here's your downstairs. So pretty basic, but garden level, which is nice. So you have a family room here or a playroom and then yet another bedroom. So really you have um, five bedrooms. So you have one down here with a family room and then you have the four upstairs, one of which is your master. Here's all your utilities and then that big open space where you could add another bedroom and bathroom if you wanted to, although it might be overkill on the bathrooms, excuse me, on the bedrooms. I'm just trying to get you guys a close up on these real quick. But um, I don't know what you'd want to do with it. It's really a great space, great man cave, great craft room, great playroom, whatever else you think would be worthwhile. So, okay, this is Dancing Moon. I'm going to let you go and I will move on to the next property. Bye.